Hello and welcome to Spotlight Sessions with me, Rosalind Yale. In today's episode, we have JC Carroll, an English composer and songwriter of French-Irish descent. He popped by our studio to perform a couple of tracks, including this first one, which NME have listed as forgotten masterpiece. This is Offshore Banking. <laughs> Bermuda and the Bahamas, Front Street Hamilton. They're doing more than growing bananas. They got a tax dodge going on. Offshore banking business, whoa. Offshore banking business. Banks and corporations are registered and operating now. They don't employ any local staff And I don't know if you are aware One American Sitting at a desk with a black outside on the wall That's what they call Offshore banking business Whoa Offshore banking business Who's behind this? Operation, I'll tell you what I know. Newspaper barons and all tycoons watching their money grow. It's not an idle rumor, no, no. Scandal talk, all of the profits are washed through. Curacao, Panama, New York, offshore banking business. Whoa, yeah, offshore banking business. Offshore banking business, whoa, yeah, offshore banking business. When I started off playing music, I had a job, in a day job as a bank clerk. The most important thing to do if you want to be a musician is have another occupation where you can make money. Because I say to young people, if you want to be a musician or an actor or anything like that, it's a very tough road and you've got to expect to do a lot of really rubbish things. I don't recommend this route, but if it is your vocation to be a musician or a dancer, I suggest you get another gig that earns you money whilst you're waiting to become famous. Otherwise, you will compromise your art by doing rubbish art just to get on the television or the radio. Of the suburbs. Every lousy Monday morning, he project go crashing over my home. 10 o'clock and a Broadmoor siren driving me mad, won't leave me alone. Inspiration is a fantastic thing. And um, I got a lot of inspiration by working in a rubbish job. Well, not a rubbish job, I worked in a bank. Uh, everyday life is inspiration. When I became a full-time professional musician, I found that inspiration fell away because you can't get inspired by just travelling around with a band because you're not living in the real world. The real world is my inspiration. The people around me, the people on the tube, the people in the corner of pubs, that's my inspiration. They want to be free Now they want anarchy They play too fast They play out of tune They practice in the singer's bedroom The drum's quite good The bass is too loud And I can't hear I really love Bob Marley I saw him when he played in 1975 At the Lyceum It was a huge concert for me It was huge inspiration for me I was working in a bank And I went in my suit And saw Bob Marley And my life changed And I thought that's the type of music I want to see it play Sometimes songs come in five minutes very quickly, like a gift from the gods. Sometimes it takes me 12, 13 or 14 years to finish a song. It's like you're stalking a baddie, like a mountie always gets his man. You have to sometimes wait for many years to finish the song. But when you finish it, it is generally worth it. 
I lo always look forward to playing with new musicians. Yesterday I did a session with two fantastic horn players and it made me feel so happy, feel so alive. Playing with other musicians, they don't have to be famous. They just have to make you feel good. There's a special feeling like maybe making a perfect TV programme that you get when you click with other musicians or, or professionals. It's a kind of... It's, it's a thrill you can't get any other way. So I don't really need to work with famous people, I just need to work with good people. My most memorable performance was playing at the Opera House in Blackpool about uh, three months ago. It was a fantastic gig. We played to about 3,000 people. We had a fantastic night. Uh, it's a great show. It's a lovely building and we had a great show. My music is not about me, it's about the people that come to see me and the people who had a really fantastic time that night. They cheered, they sang along. My songs are not about me, they're about my audience and if they have a great time then, then it's job done, it's fantastic, I love it. In the beginning I wrote some words and the word was good I put some chords over those words they began to sound like they could they could be a song that would help me along They could be a tune That would fly It would fly all the way Across the radio waves Through the stratosphere So high Across the world We were painting With sound in the sky In the beginning Back in the day Such a long time Ago now We had dance sets we had cassettes Listen to music with a friend It taught us to feel It taught us to see It taught us one day We would fly We would fly all the way Across the radio waves Through the stratosphere So high And we would follow it All across the world We were painting with sound In the sky We would fly So high And we would follow it All across the world We were painting with sound in the sky That's just about all we've got time for But there's plenty more sessions to see You can catch today's performances plus many more on the London Live's YouTube channel Full episodes can be found on our website.